Hello everyone, welcome to the U of How To. Uh, I'm in my U of How To account and I don't use this for anything other than uh, posting videos. So you can see my Gmail here is just filled with YouTube letting me know when I have a new subscriber, uh, when I've hit, you know, like uh, some milestones like 500 subscribers, which is great. Thank you guys for that. So I'm going to change things up in here to make it look more like my education account that I use okay so the first feature I want to go over with you guys is uh, in the settings gear here the settings gear is going to help us out a lot in this video and you'll you'll notice that there are just a ton of features that you can customize to your liking okay so the first one that I want to go through here is your theme so this is the default theme and most people don't change that default theme okay but if I go to view all you can see I can actually choose some photo backgrounds okay and if you look at these names you can go dark uh, you can go with high contrast okay so if I click on that one you can see now there's just a little bit more contrast that may be a little bit nicer for some of you and uh, that's actually the one that I use personally and uh, but just to show you you might want to go dark you know, or uh, have an image as a background okay what have you so you can play around with that and choose one that you like so I'm going to use the high contrast okay done that's one thing uh, also with the theme uh, is the general layout okay so because I've played with this before this uh, toggle pane option shows up but if you have never used this uh, this option may not be here for you and if it's not that's okay if you go back to these gears and you scroll down a little bit right there you have these options so again the default is to just have no split and I prefer to have the right of inbox and so what this does it now shows me uh, my emails on the left and when I click on one of them I can view an email on the right and so then I can click on another and view that one and so on okay so I like to kind of have both open that's just again a personal preference of mine instead of having to uh, so if we go back to the default if I open up an email then when I'm done with this email I have to go back to my inbox to check another one okay so with the split that just allows me to read one and I can respond to that if I would okay respond to that if I would like to now let's just show you if I went to reply I can send even though it says no reply I can send okay message sent and th nothing closes okay I can just move on to the next one and proceed and so there's my preference the vertical split so that's just the general layout okay the theme and this split option okay the second thing I want to go over again let's go back to the gears it's choosing the type of inbox okay so again most of us just keep the default and um, and that's fine but I personally have been using the priority inbox Okay, and you'll see as soon as I click that now it divides us into sections important and unread my starred so I haven't started anything let's just star uh, maybe let's start the last one that I read okay so let's start that and refresh and so now the starred one shows up in this starred section uh, the other unread ones and everything else okay and so this just puts the most important things at the top the ones that I haven't read yet the ones that I starred to be important and the ones that Google has deemed important because there's a file attached to it or for some other reasons okay and so um, this is again a preference thing priority inbox something to consider and you can actually customize these inboxes so my priority inbox I can customize 
and let's say I don't want important and unread at the top let's say I want third to be my first section and I want important to be a se separate section and then unread and then everything else okay and so then I can click save changes and there we go start is at the top important unread and everything else okay the third thing I want to go over is labels so on the left side here this panel if we click on more we scroll down so you, have, you see all these options okay spam and bin your trash bin and there is this manage labels and create new labels so essentially a label is like a folder okay so you can see I have a draft label the sent label so when I click on these okay I, I open up a separate window a separate folder essentially okay you can even just click on your starred ones and so I can create a new label okay so let's just call this uh, demo this is my demo label okay I can nest it under a, an existing label or I can just leave this as my new label so let's create it okay there it is demo nothing in there right now so let's go back to my inbox and now uh, let's say I want to move or I, I want to label one of these emails as a demo okay so I can click on an email and these options show up at the top here okay, and if you're not sure what the options are if you just scroll over you can let Google tell you what those icons represent okay and so this one here this is move to so this is actually going to take it from my inbox and move it to one of these folders okay or you can just add a label so if I click on labels and click on demo and apply you see the label has been changed here now okay so it's still in my inbox but now if I go to demo it's also there in this demo folder okay so back to inbox it's still there now if I chose to move it move to demo now it's not here in my inbox anymore it's only in my demo folder okay and one more thing to mention with labels if you go to the gears here again the settings and we go to all settings okay there is a labels section where you can choose to uh, hide certain labels for whatever reason and um, you can delete labels you can create new labels in this area here as well okay and so there's more options with labels in that area okay now that I'm in the all settings uh, area the all settings section here let's move to the general settings and there are many options here that you can go through uh, default text for one actually I'm going to change that right now I usually like to have it a little bit larger and I like the color blue and so this is what my body text will look like when I send emails now okay but what I wanted to mention that again not many of us necessarily take advantage of is signatures to add a signature so at the end of an email let's call it just um, my signature so at the end of an email we can have this signature okay let's choose large and blue font okay so I'm going to have it end with my name and the you of how to okay so that's how I want my email to end and I want it to show up so I have to choose my signature for new emails and when I reply or forward as well I want my signature to show up on all of my emails okay and I checked off insert signature before the quoted text and you'll see why as soon as we test this so let's save changes wanted to uh, forward this okay my signature shows up before any other quoted text okay that's the idea there 
okay and then my font is now changed as well okay so uh, and now the last thing I want to show you uh, while we're here is some options with send so uh, oftentimes uh, when we're done our email when we're finished with our email we just click send and we're off to the next one okay but if you're like me and you work at all hours of the night um, it's almost 2 a.m. right now um, and you don't want to send an email to someone and have them be notified uh, that you are sending an email at 2 a.m. for whatever reason maybe you don't want to disturb them or you don't want them to know that you're sending this email at 2 a.m. Um, uh, or let's say you uh, are needing to remind someone of something in a couple of days you can set your email now and schedule it for another time okay so let's say I just finished typing this up and I don't want to send it right now I just click on the down arrow here for more options so schedule send and so it comes up with some suggestions uh, do you want to send it this morning since it's 2 a.m. right now maybe let's wait till 8 a.m. so we're not disturbing anyone uh, that's a good option uh, this afternoon maybe Monday so you save it for the weekend so those are uh, Google's suggestions or you can select the date and time so let's say I, I need to be I need to remind someone of something on Wednesday and so I'm going to send an email now that they will receive on Wednesday as the reminder and then that way I don't have to try to remember to send that email on Wednesday so click on that date pick the time that I want them to receive that email Okay, and uh, because it says a file, yes, we can share it. Anyone who has the link, and we can send it. Okay, and so now it says down here, send scheduled for Wednesday, and I can undo. Okay, and the length of time that we have to undo can actually be adjusted in the settings too. So I know this isn't part of it, but let me show you really quick. Um, right here, undo send. The default is five seconds. You can change it up to 30 seconds. So that little notification in the bottom left here can be shown to you for up to 30 seconds to give you uh, a, uh, just a last second chance to undo your options. But since we scheduled it, um, we have the option to undo it anyways. So if I go to my scheduled label, okay, there it is. This is scheduled. If I open it up, okay. I can cancel that send so it tells me when it's scheduled to be sent and I can choose to cancel it okay so there are five and five plus features in Gmail that I think are underused and hopefully you can try those out and let me know how it goes so if you have any questions comments I'll leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one